In this tutorial, we're going to look at the email helper in CodeIgniter. I'm here on CodeIgniter's site on the email helper page, and inside this helper class, there is uh, two helper functions. One is valid email, and the other one is send email. You'll see here that um, it says for a more robust email solution, see CodeIgniter's email class. So I'm not going to cover this one, and from the times I've worked in CodeIgniter before, I've always used stuff from this email class, so I'm not going to cover this one. But what I will cover is this valid email function. So let's jump over to the code, and I'm going to start at the controller. And the first thing we need to do is load in the email helper. And once that's loaded in, we're going to go over to the view. And what I'm going to do first here, just for to have a comparison, um, I'm first checking out this function I found on um, stackoverflow.com by Gilly B and the function is called is valid email and um, it takes one parameter which is the email address and inside we have the PHP's native uh, pregmatch match function first parameter is regular expression and the second parameter is the email in question okay so what I did was I tested this on um, three different emails which was anthony at proceedcovers.com and anthony at proceedcovers.travel and anthony at china.com.cn so we have some different stuff here um, this is a valid email there's um, a couple of weird domain extensions which is like dot travel and dot museum and um, so they are valid emails so um, we need these valid emails so whatever's after this dot it has to accept something up to six characters because of um, dot travel and dot museum and then I'm also testing it on this China one which is also valid and it has two points in it and um, and we're just echoing it out we're basically just checking um, if it's true or not if it's true it returns valid if it's not true it returns not valid Let's check it out. Okay, and we can see here that it's that this function says Anthony at proceedcovers.travel is not valid. Okay, so um, I don't blame this guy because these are um, these are very difficult to write, and this regular expression can be can be changed by adjusting here, um, but I just wanted to check that out and now we're going to compare it against um, CodeIgniter's valid email um, function to see to see how that worked out in this test. So I'm going to uncomment that and basically the same thing is going on here. If it's true, returning valid. If it's not true, returning not valid. Let's see how that went. And we can see here that it did it did very well. Um, this is valid. This is valid, and this is valid. 